Hello there, if you're watching this video, most likely you have been a Windows user all your life and you've decided to either move to a Mac or you just recently purchased a Mac. Um, we'll try in this video to make sure um, you have a very smooth transition from Windows to Mac. What I have is a brand new Mac which I have uh, installed a very few applications on and I have a um, Windows application uh, running so that I can do a comparison between the Windows and the Mac here. Um, First thing you see on the Windows is your start um, bar where it gives you quick access to all the programs, it gives you access to the control panel, your recently opened items. You have a quick launch um, bar here and you have a task um, bar and then you, on the right side you have list of processes running. Now on the Windows world, let's go to, to our Mac, sorry, uh, the Win Mac world, let's go to our Mac world. What we have is the same as the de desktop. You can customize your desktop the way you use to customize in Windows world. You can change the background. But um, this one here is called Dock. That's what we have as our taskbar and quick launch. This is kind of the quick launch bar where it gives you access to um, launching some applications uh, very easily. But the, the Dock is consisting of two parts, which is divided by uh, this sign here. And on the right side uh, is it's meant for two purposes. One is it has some default things in here, which these four icons you can see. And it also uh, shows you all the applications that you have minimized. So for example, on Windows World, if you had multiple applications opened, um, you would see um, those in here. Um, that's what the right side of the dock also shows here. So right now, I don't have anything uh, minimized in there. That's why you don't see it. But uh, this default is the list of applications that you see, which is the start all programs in Windows. That's where all the applications go. You can choose not to install applications in here, but that's what the um, that's what the recommendation is. This is the My Documents folder that you used to have on Windows. So this has list of all the documents that you have um, in in your folder, in your My Documents folder. Sorry. And this is something different that Mac has done. It's a special folder called Downloads folder. And this has list of all the files that you have downloaded recently. And again, it's just a folder on your Mac, but it's um, just put in here. And you can always remove anything you want. And um, from the folder, you can always open and remove whatever you want to, OK? So how do you see a desktop? So in Windows world, um, we had this Windows key and you could use this for a lot of shortcuts like you, you could do Windows D that would show you the desktop, Windows E would explore, and then you also had to right click here. Uh, in terms of Mac, we have few keys missing and the most, of, uh, most important one that you need to get used to is um, this, this page up, page down, and, and home and end. We don't have these kind of keys here. Um, but we do have um, other combination of keys that allows you to do the same thing. It's kind of a little compact than, um, than, than Windows key. And uh, this is a new key called Command key, which is sometimes it works as, as the Control key and sometimes it works as the Windows key uh, from the Windows world. Now, in order to show the desktop, in Windows world, we could just right click here and say Show Desktop here. There's nothing like that in the Mac world. And what we do in the Mac world, there are two uh, ways of um, looking at the desktop. First is you just take your four fingers on the trackpad and move it up and there you go, it's the desktop. It's pretty uh, cool and easy. Just four fingers up and that uh, four fingers on the trackpad and move it up and that's your desktop. You can also press function F11 and that does the same thing. Now you can also customize your keys so that instead of pressing function F11 you can just press F11 um, but then your sound control will be reversed. So for sound control, you will have to use function and the sound control keys, which is F10, 11, and 12. Um, that's just your choice. On Windows, the list of applications that you have opened, um, you could access by pressing Alt-Tab. And if you do Alt-Tab, it so shows you list of all the applications that you have opened here. So the Alt-Tab has changed um, in, in the Mac world to Command-Tab. And that does the same thing exactly as Windows. So you can do Command Tab and um, see your applications the way you were seeing in the um, in the Windows world. But there's another thing that you can do on Mac is you can take four fingers and move left to right, and it gives you the same thing. And then you can um, hover over whichever application you want. So four fingers horizontally as against four fingers um, upwards or downwards. Okay. Um, another uh, important key for uh, for Mac is in Windows world. 
uh, what we had was if you had multiple application, multiple windows open for an application, for example, um, I have two applications, two windows open for Internet Explorer. I could always do Alt-Tab and Alt-Tab would give me separate windows um, for a given application. That's different in Mac. In Mac world, what you have is when you do Alt-Tab, all you see is one instance of Safari, right? Whereas you can see that I have multiple windows uh, of Safari's open. It's, I'm not talking about multiple tabs, I'm talking about multiple windows of Safari's. And you can't access the way you used to access in Windows world. So that's a little different. What you can do is, if you're on Safari and you want to see all the windows of Safari, you just press function F10 and it gives you different windows of Safari here. And then you can choose whatever you want to choose. And again, I mean, uh, we have a few plugins that you can download and um, make it look similar to Windows um, and improve your uh, efficiency also in terms of how you use command tab and alt tab and those kind of things but what I suggest is that use Mac um, as it is um, the bare bo bone uh, for a few uh, for a few days and then w once you know how it behaves um, then you can start improving your efficiency by downloading some additional plugins um, so we also had uh, the, the all the windows on uh, all the applications on Windows world had this minimize um, key and the close key and the restore key. Now those are kind of the same here where every window that you have has three buttons where this is used for maximize, this is for minimize, and this is for closing the application. Now there's one difference in, um, in Mac is that if you close an application, so for example, if I close this application, closing doesn't really mean that application is gone. And um, uh, another thing that you have on Mac is, uh, see this little icon here, uh, which is blue, dot here which is not there for the for the for the dashboard here it's not there for mail but it's there for safari and it's there for iCal it's there for preview right um, these means that these applications are currently running right if you close this safari here and if you close this safari here uh, close and I still see safari um, in the list of applications that I have right and, and you still see that this blue, eye, blue icon is still available in the Safari. Now, there are two things uh, you can do. First of all, if you have any applications running, um, and you can see it in the Command Tab window, but you don't see uh, an active window in here, you can um, reactivate that by, instead of leaving the Command key right now, press the Alt key and then remove the Command key. So that's what it does. It launches uh, the new Safari, win Safari window. Um, the same thing happens when you uh, minimize this window here. So see, when you minimize this window, see I told you this right portion is, is all the minimized windows uh, placeholder. So for example, if I have a preview window and I minimize this, see it goes in, uh, in, the, in, in this place here. Now there's something which is a little painful as I, as I ex explained just now, is that in Windows world, no matter whether you have it minimized or whether you have, uh, whatever it is, it just shows you in here, right? And you can always uh, reactivate that by using Alt-Tab, right? And um, if you use mouse, it, you're, you are good. If you use mouse, uh, it's good in Mac, you can just uh, bring it back. But if you are using your Command Tab, um, so let's see, I have the preview and I do a Command Tab. Oops, it didn't bring it. So if you have hidden an application, if you if you have if your application is hidden, if you cannot uh, bring it back just by leaving it here uh, with the Command Tab. So what you do is before using before leaving your Command uh, key, press your Alt key and then leave your Command key, and it brings it back. I don't really like this and I'm not sure why uh, it's there and that's why I never actually uh, minimize the window. I just I just leave it there and it's there. Um, you can also hide a window basically. So if you if you I'm on preview window and I press, um, I have command key press and I press H, it kind of hides it and uh, it's there, it's just gone, the last one here. It's, it's, uh, it's gone from everywhere, it's, it's not there. And you can only see it from your um, command tab, but you can't bring it back up because you have you have hidden the window. And again, the key is the same thing. To bring it back up, you don't release the command key. You press the Alt key and then remove your command key, and it brings uh, right back up.